While the chalk chasers are removing a hill, the she's of a she school at Sydney, Australia, are looking for one. On with the dinky snow cap and anti-glare glasses, and they're nearly all set for the practice run. Yeah, they're all in it, heart and soul. With high heart and temperature below, she runs down the run. And the ice is really matting, but that's slippery enough to make it feel like the real thing, at least to beginners. They do say that the novice even suffers from frostbite. Yeah, but maybe it's only cold feet. It's really grand training, and the girls soon get down to it. The great thing is to keep going. Don't feel a day over 90, but I'll make it. By heck, I'll make it. <laughs> and she's made it. And most of the other girls make it. They came to she, and that's just what they're going to do. So out they go, looking for real ice and trouble. Within a stone's throw of the GPO is the SNO on the little-known Botany Alps. Just three miles from Sydney, as the bee sucks. You don't believe it, eh? Well, you wouldn't expect to find tram lines on an ice run, would you? The atmosphere is so rarefied that you'd hardly notice the tanneries until you got down the hill. It's the smell of the tanneries, they say, that makes you go hell for leather. Well, that's just a little pre-war memory. Today, the call of duty in the great cause of freedom has turned the thoughts of skiers to sterner things. There's a big job to be done, and the Aussies are doing it. Just a memory and the promise of a happier future. <music> Lastly, a group of stars in another constellation.